So I just created this really cute Christmas cabin cake and if you want to see how I made it, follow along and you can maybe make one too. Trope Desserts and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a snowy Christmas tree cake. Alright, so I have already prepped six inch cake layers and I have three of those. And then I have a pretty large batch of vanilla icing right here as well, ready to go. I also picked up some sugar cones and these are going to be perfect for making Christmas trees. With that, I also have a little bit of food coloring here. These ones are Chef Master food coloring, so I have uh, leaf green and royal blue. And then I'm going to attempt to create a log cabin on my cake as well. So I have these cinnamon sugar pretzel sticks. Um, they're very good. You can use any type of pretzels. Um, I just thought these were good because they're sweet, but I would just, just want to shout out to Pop Daddy Pretzels because these are the best. So go try them if you haven't. So we are gonna jump into decorating. The first thing I'm gonna do is level my cakes and then we're gonna get the icing on the cake and just have a lot of fun. So to start, I'm just going to be cutting off the little bit of dome that's on these cakes. So they're a little more level when we stack them. Just be very careful when you're doing this. Start with an eight inch cake round and take my Wilton offset spatula and just start by putting a little bit of icing at the base. This is basically just so the cake will stick. And then I'm gonna add my second layer of cake. Okay, and then I'm gonna add my third and final layer and try to make sure that's somewhat centered. Okay, so as you can see now we have a little bit of, quite a lot actually of excess on the side and I did that on purpose so that I can go back in, make sure I fill up all the cracks and then I can use that as the base of my crumb coat. So don't worry if this is looking a little crumbly uh, that's kind of the whole point of it basically is to lock in any crumbs and I just take the back of my offset spatula and then I push the icing kind of into the cake crack. Like I'm doing this and it probably looks very easy and if you're trying this at home you might be thinking what the heck how is she doing that so easily but I will say a lot of practice so if you're feeling frustrated don't uh, don't feel frustrated because we all have to start somewhere. Okay, so I just finished my crumb coat. I'm very happy with how this looks. And again, it's not something that has to look perfect at all. It's the only purpose for it is basically so that when you put on your final coat of icing that you don't get all those cake crumbs out on the surface of your cake. Because this is a Christmas cake, we want the icing to be nice and white. So that is the goal and we don't want those crumbs in there. But yeah, this is looking perfect. And now we're gonna go put this in the fridge or freezer just for a couple minutes so the icing can harden a little bit and then we'll come back and finish icing it. Okay, so I just took our cake out of the freezer and the icing has just chilled enough that it's a bit firm. So it'll be easier to put the final layer of icing on. Now I'm just gonna go take this excess icing and again, start blending that into the sides. Okay, and now I just grab more icing on my offset spatula and work on the bottom part. So the goal is basically just to get enough icing kind of evenly layered around the cake, cover up anything that looks like the cake's showing through. And now I'm gonna take my cake scraper. So this is like the most handy tool ever. I wanna keep this even and level against the side of the cake and pull and twist as I go around. I also keep this on a slight angle, so notice I'm not going directly in and out of the cake like this. I'm kind of tilting it on the side. Starting here and twisting. And we can kind of just keep going around. So now that I've done kind of my first like Passover of smoothing the cake out, um, you can kind of start to see where you're missing icing, where you might need more, and anywhere where you might see like a little bit of cake poking through, just add a little more icing. Add icing, that's the trick. 
at Trove, we always did a bit of a rustic style like this. So we kind of liked a few imperfect edges because it just kind of looks really, it ends up looking really elegant actually. Okay, and I am honestly pretty pleased with how this is looking. And now we can just again put this back in the fridge or freezer for a few minutes just to let it set while we prepare our Christmas trees. Okay, so now we are going to decorate our little Christmas trees. So I'm gonna trim these down and I'm gonna do a bit of different sizing. So I want some little ones and some kind of medium sized ones as well. And I'm honestly just taking like a steak knife. <laughs> I don't know if this is the best knife to do this, but it's just a serrated knife and I'm very delicately kind of sawing through the sugar cone. So just be careful when you're doing this because you don't want to crack them all. I'm kind of just carefully sawing away. And I'm basically just going all around the edge and they kind of just start breaking, but you do have to be a little careful, but it's okay if they aren't perfect because that's gonna go into your icing. There we are. So now we have our cutie little trees and I'm going to now mix up our icing. So I have some vanilla icing right here. I'm gonna start by adding in a drop of the leaf green Chef Master color. Okay, so my green is not getting dark enough, but I don't wanna go crazy adding too much color. Ooh. Okay, and this is actually my first time trying the immersion blender, but I can tell you right now it's working, so highly recommend. And that is a bit of a crazy before and after because this was like very light green. So so you can kind of see on the spatula here, this was the original color and that's it being blended. Okay, I like it because it's not too bright and it has a little bit of that deeper undertone, which is kind of nice. I am using my disposable piping bag. Open up the bag to make a hole like that. And I'm gonna be taking my Ateco 352 leaf piping tip and popping that into the bottom of the bag. And then just be careful to cut off just a little bit of the bag. Okay. Let's start with that. We're just gonna go for it. Okay, so I'm just gonna explain how I'm getting my trees to look like this. You don't have to go all the way to the base because we are gonna be sticking these into the cake. So you can leave a little bit of room. Start with this metal part up at the top. And I start at the bottom of the tree and I just press and pull out. So press and pull out. Anyways, so just do this all the way around, filling in the holes as you go. And as we're getting close to the tip, you can put that down on your wax paper and then just go around and fill the top in. Okay, and then at the top, I just do a little dot on the top. <laughs> okay, now this next part, gonna be a little scary. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I have any good tips on how to do this without knocking them over, um, but you just have to walk very, very carefully with your trees have an open spot in your freezer ready to go. Maybe get someone to help you open the door or open the door before you go and put them in. Oh, tree down. Oh, shoot. Tree down. <laughs> You'll never know. I'm gonna try to take a cone that has actually the flat base and put our tree on top of that because it's a little too unstable to actually travel. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny. Wow, okay. 100% do this, get extra cones for this purpose. Okay, so before I get to decorating the top, I just want to make sure the edges are all clean so I don't have to think about that later. So I'm just taking a paring knife and then sliding along the edge of the cake to clean up any of that frosting that got on there. And doing this when the icing is still a little bit firm makes it like literally so much easier. So that's looking pretty good. I'm just gonna take a paper towel and wipe the edge. 
That's looking really great. So we can get now on to decorating the top of the cake. So I'm gonna get on eye level because we also wanna make sure that we're picking a front side of the cake. So pick what side you'd like people to be looking at when you serve the cake. For me, I think this side is what I'm loving over here. So I want that to be the front. That's where I'm going to build my scene on top with that in mind. Okay. So I've turned the good side towards me just because obviously I need to see what I'm doing here. So I'm taking my pretzel sticks and I'm gonna be making an A-frame cabin. Um, so these ones are pretty big and long. So I want to cut them down a little bit or just snap off the ends. And we're just gonna go for it and I'm really hoping this works out, so. Okay, and now I'm gonna take a little bit of vanilla icing in a piping bag and I'm going to pipe on my top structural piece. And I think I need a chimney. Just gonna add a little bit of snow around the edge of this. Okay, so I finished my little cabin. I think it actually turned out super cute, so I'm very pleased with that. Um, and now we're gonna place our Christmas trees on the cake. I just took these out of the freezer, so they are actually pretty firm. You still have to be careful with them, but so far, pretty firm. So I'm gonna turn this around and start putting my trees on. Really quickly and carefully pop it on the cake. And you're gonna get a few fingerprints in your trees, so don't panic because we're going, going to add more icing to just fix them and make them look that much better. Okay, so I've just broken up a cone and I've kind of shaved it down on one side um, because I think it would look really cute with the tree down here. So I'm just gonna kind of stick that into the side like that. more leaves on the top here just to fix it this one too. And then anything that I don't really like the way it looks, we're just going to cover it up with some snow. I have now a large fine mesh sifter and I've put a little bit of powdered sugar in there and now I'm going to gently um, make it snow on my cake. Well, there you guys have it, my cute little Christmas cabin cake. It turned out so cute. It was honestly so much fun to make. Um, basically, this feels like a little art project, so don't take it too seriously when you're doing it. Have fun, be creative. I would absolutely love to see your take on it, so if you do something at all Christmassy on a cake, definitely show us, post your pictures, um, tag us on Instagram. We wanna see what you come up with. But remember, just have fun with it and um, mistakes and stuff can always be fixed. Everything that I use to create this cake is all gonna be linked down below on our Amazon storefront. So if you're looking for any of those tools and equipment to make your cake extra special, definitely go check that out. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye. Tree. My snowy Christmas tree forest cabin <laughs> cake. <laughs> I'm rambling now. <laughs> this is kind of like art. Like it's your canvas and like yeah. you make mistakes, but you paint over it and like you keep going. You keep it. going and like you just have fun. It. It's also not a stressful thing. It's yeah. It's just for fun.